Hello everyone, uh, welcome to your own channel Civil Engineering Hacks. Uh, in this video today, we will learn about how to uh, manually design the staircase in the Excel sheet so that uh, after the ETAP drawing, then you can attach this Excel sheet into the ETAPS folder and then submit it to the municipality or <coughs> for the design works. Okay, uh, without further delay, let's just start. I have here uh, done the designing of uh, dog leg staircase uh, as you can see this is the figure of a dog leg staircase mm. and then uh, uh, we can see that uh, a dog leg staircase uh, consists of uh, this person is called uh, landing portion and this portion is called uh, uh, first flight you can start from here landing first flight and again landing second flight and then you will come to the come to this position this position is this as you can see so design of staircase <coughs> material properties value and units what are the material properties that you need in order to design this open uh, dog leg staircase? So at first, F Y. It's uh, characteristic strength of reinforcement. F Y. It's 500 newton per mm square. F C K. 25 newton per mm square. Clear cover. Uh, we have put 20 mm diameter of main bar 2 well and diameter of distribution bar 8 and it will change as per the calculations that we do below so let us take an arbitrary value like this for the diameter of main bar and diameter of distribution bar and then uh, we <coughs> generally we know the uh, trade riser and the thickness of waste slab that we uh, do as per our design so in our case uh, I have kept as 0 0.25 meter riser at 0 0.17 thickness of waste slab is 0 0.125 5 inch width of landing slab uh, it is generally kept uh, 3 feet 6 inch but uh, if there is more space uh, and as per the space availability you can keep the width of the slab uh, width of the landing 1.061 thickness of landing slab 0 0.125 5 inch uh, span of landing A span of first flight span of landing B and total span is the sum of span of landing A and span of first flight plus span of landing B let us move to the another part load calculation so I have already done the calculation portions uh, just by <coughs> putting the formula in the Excel sheet. So area of slab is 0 0.04 and average it comes from C11. Thickness of waste slab multiplied by square root of C9 square root of trade and riser is the area of slab. Again area of steps, uh, steps uh, it is in the calculation of triangular form. So 1 by 2 into base into height or we can simply say 1 by 2 into C9 trade into riser 1 by 2 into trade and this riser portion and then you will get the area of steps if you calculate it uh, then the total area is the sum of area of steps plus area of waste slab waste slab means this slab uh, the slab that we cast before putting our staircase this is called the waste slab again dead load per meter because we have put the value of 25 in the above portion fck so that's our dead load per meter and dead load is the dead load per meter divided by 
trade and we will get the desired dead load floor finish uh, we uh, i have kept 0 0.9 live load then total load is the addition of this load dead load plus floor finish plus live load therefore factor load is 1.50 factor of safety that's a factor load and then load per meter is factor load into width of slab is the load per meter you can simply <coughs> do it in your own excel sheet by watching the video uh, i will guide it through all of this now load on the landing slab uh, since i could not uh, go towards the top then self weight of the slab fck into thickness of the landing slab is self weight of the slab then we have kept the floor finish value uh, live load load per square meter is the sum of all these three things live load floor finish plus load slab so factor load and then load per meter now calculation of moment uh, we can simply uh, calculate the moment by using the formula that we have studied in IS table so from that you can calculate the moment so total load is here and we can calculate the reaction at A uh, since uh, this video is gonna be a long video so I uh, could not go through each and every of the steps uh, so yeah I just uh, say what are the things that are needed to be calculated okay then calculation of moments uh, <laughs> we can use all the formula from IS table uh, IS 456 2000 so that uh, and then put that in Excel sheet depth then calculation of main steel and calculation of distribution steel we have the formula this is the formula uh, that 0 0.87 uh, 87 times something that uh, you need to uh, take into consideration and calculate these things so from here we can get diameter area diameter area of each steel spacing provided spacing required spacing provided so the actual steel that we have used for the main bar is of 804.50 mm square similarly in case of distribution bar we have used 268 mm square uh, so that you can calculate the formula by using area is equals to pi r square and then you can calculate the desired value of uh, desired diameter of reinforcement from the area so we need we also need to check for the shear force whether it is safe in shear or not if it is safe in shear and then only you can use that for the uh, design of reinforcement purpose so also we need to check for the development length uh, these are things are that we have already studied in the bachelor so you can simply go through it or and the result should be safe for development length if it is not safe then you can uh, change the area of steel or other values and deflection check we need to check for the deflection also uh, all these things that I have done is by uh, going through <coughs> uh, the best that the going through the things that I have studied in the bachelor education and then just uh, plotting the things that I have learned into the Excel so that uh, we can get the desired value and finally uh, this should be okay I know this uh, video sound stupid to you because uh, I just uh, because uh, it's gonna take a very long time if I am gonna go through each and every steps of that. Uh, but uh, what I wanna say is that if you practice a little bit uh, that we have already studied in the bachelor, and then you can simply put the value and also some formulas, then you can simply uh, design the double staircase. Well. Uh, 
I hope uh, you have learned some of the terminologies uh, that are uh, most needed uh, for the design of this thing. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, if you want this Excel sheet, then I will surely provide it. If this video get uh, maybe two thousand views, because more views aren't aren't coming nowadays. So, if this video will get two thousand views, then I will literally post this design of staircase in my uh, in my youtube comment so that you can download it from here so give this video a lot of like share so that uh, so that uh, and share to your other friends so that they can also uh, subscribe to my channel and they learn a lot of new things that i am going to share you every single day guys so uh, stay safe and stay blessed guys and hope we get 2000 likes so that uh, I can share this uh, spirit sheet with you uh, in very meantime. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching.